Part 2, Using the Tao to Become More Conscious Part 2 is a group of 14 thematically linked passages exploring the manifestation of the Tao in human awareness. It is a gradual process, but as your awareness grows, you glimpse and then gaze long at the wondrous interconnected nature of the world and everything in it. The foundation of Tao consciousness is a strong desire to know the Tao, to feel it at the core of your being. This then activates a corresponding desire from the greater Tao to meet you halfway, to grow towards each other until you find common middle ground. The Tao at your core is the same Tao of the macrocosm. Thus your microcosm merges harmoniously with the macrocosm, becoming one, giving you a sense of felt connectedness with all things. And in this moment, you become enlightened. Your awareness expands exponentially to encompass the entire universe. Passage, Sameness of Bearing, 5. The Tao is impartial. All are treated equally. The wise are impartial. They too treat equally. Favoring none. Disparaging none. Regardless of status. Independence of mind. No distractions. Focus on the Tao. Commentary, the Tao is impartial. The human equivalent is sameness of bearing, treating everyone equally, regardless of rank or status. Sameness of bearing enables emotional and intellectual independence from the world, thus enabling one's intuition to strengthen, perceptions are not distorted by wishful thinking. Such independence tunes one's inner ear to the subtle voice of the Tao. Passage, being non-competitive, 8. Water is a role model. It seeks not the high places. Instead the low and uninviting places. Bringing benefit to those who dwell there. The sage seeks not high status. But with water like humility. Brings kindness to those. Who dwell in the low places. The sage speaks no ill. And is truthful to all. The sage is no warrior. Thus no blame attaches to them. Commentary, it is the nature of water to find the low places. The wise emulate this and seek out the places that the haughty disdain to go. Conventional wisdom in the West champions the struggle for supremacy. Fight to the top, stab and climb over your competitors. The wise cultivate a non-competitive win-win mindset. Passage, limiting sensual desire, 12. The sensory delights of the world. Obscure the sacred Tao. Distracting the mind. Creating desire. For you to grow. Limit sensual desire. Free yourself from bondage. Live with simplicity. Commentary, worldly pleasures are a distraction. Cultivate your intuition and so perceive the Tao day by day. Awareness expands to encompass the entire world. Likewise let go of the need for praise, acceptance and status. The approval and disapproval of others is the currency by which our compliance with group think is bought. Since most are unaware of the Tao, their opinions should not be trusted or be allowed to influence your character. They might well be discouraging good behavior and encouraging bad. Passage, Instincts and Intuition, 18. When the Tao declines, human virtues are born. The dark side of knowledge is hypocrisy. Mandating family harmony, creates rules for filial piety. When the country is in chaos, citizens proclaim their loyalty, the disloyal must be rooted out. Commentary, when the Tao is absent from people's lives, societies establish codified standards of moral behavior. But always people seek to subvert the code. When there is trouble in the family, filial piety is demanded. When a country is torn by internal strife, patriotism is born. In the Taoist view, Instinct and intuition are trustworthy. But when instinct is lost, codified standards of right behavior become necessary. Passage, Contemplating the Subtle, 35. Those who know the Tao may safely guide the world. Stay upon the middle path, and peace shall prevail. Such leaders are rare. Abiding by the Tao brings no worldly pleasure. Yet following the Tao confers limitless blessings. Commentary, followers of the Tao are well suited for leadership, they practice moderation in all things, avoiding extremes. Their subtle wisdom attracts people. 
It is the inherent gravitas and deep inner peace that draws people. It is a subtle attraction, not like the attraction of music and good times. It is difficult to describe the attraction of the Tao. It operates beyond the level of worldly interpretation. Passage, soft is stronger than hard, 36. That which is small, must once have been big. That which succeeds, must first have failed. That which is strong, was once weak. Before you receive, you must first have given. This is the natural order. Commentary, the movement of the Tao is cyclic. Recognize this movement of polar opposites and try to moderate the swing of the pendulum down to a steady state. This is the goal that allows you to clearly perceive the action of the Tao, unobscured by reactions. Passage, Influence Without Motive, 38. True virtue is spontaneous and unconscious of its own virtuous nature. Outward shows of virtue is not true virtue. Where the Tao is not present, Outward shows of virtue become the order of society. Commentary, true virtue does not draw attention to itself. Obvious shows of virtue are therefore not true virtue. Goodness cannot be forced into the open, it must arise spontaneously in its own time. When your actions arise this way, much is achieved with little apparent effort. When actions arise from cunning, though one is busy, there is much left undone. When the Tao is absent, society creates standards of acceptable conduct. And, when acceptable behavior is breached, codes of justice become necessary. And when justice is forgotten, we resort to empty shows of ritualized behavior to portray a semblance of order. When the Tao is absent we see behavior that is empty of meaning. Therefore the sage dwells in the subtlety of the Tao and forsakes outward shows of virtue. Passage, avoiding full maturity, 45. Great deeds appear small, yet somehow they suffice. Boundless fullness appears empty, the truth appears to be lies. Great skill appears clumsy, great orators appear tongue-tied, avoid full maturity, it is already declining. Commentary, even the greatest accomplishments will one day come to nothing. Great wealth will be spent great deeds ignored. What is great becomes small, what is small becomes great. Appearances can be deceiving. Great intelligence can seem foolish. Great eloquence can sound inarticulate. Through the movement of the Tao, that which is great is already on the way to becoming small, and vice versa. Avoid pushing anything to its fullest unless you strategically want to cultivate a state of decline. Passage, The Secrets of Creation, 47. Deep understanding comes from the Tao. Know the whole world without going outside. Traveling the world is not necessary. If you meditate on the Tao, know without trekking, see without looking, achieve without doing. Commentary, meditate on the Tao for deep intuitive knowledge of nature, society, and the world at large. No need to go outside. Still travel if you so desire, there is much enjoyment to be had. Just know that deep knowledge can be found within by meditating on the Tao. Passage, The Flame That Burns Bright, 50. From a group of ten people, on their journey through life, three are constructive, three are destructive, and three are free riders. They only see the physical, but the remaining one, the wise one sees beyond, and harmonizes with the Tao. They travel far, yet they stay safe. Trouble does not find them. Criminals do not harm them. Wild animals do not attack. Such is harmony with the Tao. Commentary, the person in harmony with the Tao appears very lucky, misfortune somehow passes them by. Their immunity comes from their realization of the Tao in their daily activities. They strengthen their life force by using the energy coming in from their senses for inner growth not outward play. They do not talk for the sake of talking. Energy output does not exceed input. Passage, dwelling at the center, 52. In the beginning, there was the Big Bang. Nothing existed before that. In the first instant, there was the One. 
the one has been differentiating ever since. One became two, two became four, four became eight. Soon there were millions, and billions, and trillions, more. And from the one came the uncountable trillions. If you know the one, you know the Tao. You know the nature of all that follows. Contemplate this, keep your peace. Listen more than you speak. Emulate the Tao. Go with the flow. Yield and prosper. Commentary, the Tao is the great singularity that existed in the first instant of the Big Bang, diversifying ever since. Keep your focus on the One, the origin of all, and prosperity follows. Becoming enmeshed in the minutiae of everyday life leads to a depletion of your energies. Passage, envisaging a better world, 54. Like the giant redwood and ancient oak, what is deeply rooted is not easily torn up. Find the deeply rooted knowledge of the Tao, and let its beneficence flow down the generations, bringing virtue into your life. It nourishes and prospers the family. It nourishes the community, and the community prospers. It nourishes the nation, and the nation prospers. It nourishes the whole universe, and the universe prospers. Cultivate the Tao, and it will flow through you, to the family, the community, the nation and beyond. Commentary, expand awareness by imagining an ideally functioning world, with fully conscious people living in well-run communities. Over time this view of the world expands into the outer world and spreads its influence. Lao Tzu envisaged a world of enlightened people being firmly in control of their own destinies. All are united into a unified, compassionate entity. The Tao Te Ching is Lao Tzu's attempt to bring about such a world. Passage, one with the evolving universe, 56. Those who know the Tao do not speak. They stay silent, and watch the world unfold. Those who think they know the Tao have much to say, and like to appear clever. When one who does not becomes one who does know the Tao, you will know him by his silence. Followers of the Tao moderate their desires. Indulge not in anger, but cultivate humility. Their body came from dust, and one day will return. Knowing this is humility. Friends and foes depart this life, and with them all ideas of good and evil, honor and shame. As the mind transcends duality and sees connectedness, enlightenment dawns. You are home. Commentary, the wise keep their own counsel, the better to learn from the unfolding patterns. Telling the world you know is a sure sign, that you don't really know. Moderation and simplicity is the key to enlightenment. Passage, the disease, 71. Knowing that you do not know is wisdom. Not knowing that you do not know is ignorance. Being proudly ignorant is called the disease. Wisdom comes when now you understand that there is much that you do not know and will perhaps never know. It is all right to not know, but it is not all right to claim to know and do not. Commentary, there is so much knowledge in the world that no one person can possibly know it all or even come close. Knowing that there is much you do not know is wisdom. But the person who insists they know everything that is worth knowing when actually they just know a lot about one small sliver of the total, that person is guilty of prideful ignorance. Lao Tzu considered this particularly unfortunate. The remedy is to remember that no matter how much you know, there is always so much more that you do not know, so vast is the store of knowledge accumulated by humanity over the centuries. With this awareness you can be humble about your considerable learning and remain open to new information from the unevolving world.